So before we wrap, we want to dive into something we refer to as our whistle widget of the week. This is something we utilize in our business. It saves us time, makes us more money, or just helps us have more fun. What do you got? Yeah, I want to share a tool that we've been using for a long time, um, but something that we didn't know about. And I want to shout out to, and I, I was going to shout him out, but now I feel like I'm putting him on blast. A good friend of ours shared something with us um, with, with, within, our, within our EXP group, and he said, hey, here it is. Don't change anything, though. He shared a link from Canva. And he said, don't change anything for him. I, I saw it said copy of. So he created a copy. So that way if someone changed anything, it wouldn't mess up his. Um, but then what he didn't know is when you go to share in Canva, there's a button that says template link. And what's cool about the template link is it'll allow you to share that with lots of people. And when they click on that, it'll create a new um, item in their own Canva. So if they change it, if they delete it, if they change the colors, it doesn't matter. It's not going to change it for everyone else. It's only going to change it for them. So if you're if you're creating something in Canva and you're selling it or you're sharing it with people, and if you've shared it with people, you've already have found they'll change the headshot or they'll change stuff. And you're like, no, stop messing with my stuff. You can share with them a template link um, and it'll allow them to do whatever they want with it while still keeping yours good and that link good for everyone else to share. Solid. Um, this one, somebody in my age or in my office, one of my agents pointed this one out this week. I thought it was really cool. So most of us, if we want audiobooks, we're using Audible, which I despise the setup on Audible because they like force you on this subscription and you forget you're on it. And then all of a sudden it's like, hey, you have like 62 credits and you go download 62 books that you never read. Like it's a crappy experience and you're paying for it. Um, so we found an alternative that's free and, and it links up with local libraries. It uses like your actual library card and allows you to check out audiobooks just like Audible without the subscription and the credits and all of that. Um, and pretty much all the same books that are on Audible are on this system called Libby, L-I-B-B-Y. It is really, really cool. So if you want to get off of Audible and quit dealing with their subscription and having to figure out what to do with all these credits you can check out Libby and start just using a library card to check out books and not have to pay for them. Good job, libraries, for coming up with the times, huh? Yeah. Good on them. Pretty smart. Cool. So, yeah, I had to get like a San Diego County library card. Did you have to go into the library to get it one? It was actually, no, it was really efficiently linked up to the local library, and it was, it was a good user experience. I was very good. impressed with it. Um, so I went on and grabbed the new David Goggins book. It was really good. So check that one out, Libby. Awesome, guys. Well, I hope you got a lot of value out of the episode today. Again, my name is Kyle Whistle with eXp Realty. I'm Brian Kochi. We'll see you next time. Wait, wait. Before you leave, I want to share some more tips and tricks that we're using in our business to take it to that next level. Just click right here. And don't forget to subscribe. Click right here.